Yeah, we went out to Cheyenne Frontier Days because uh, well, Can Am is a big part of PBR now. Cheyenne Frontier is like the daddy of them all. It's like the biggest. Uh, no, I shouldn't say the biggest. It's the biggest rodeo where you're roper, team roping, bull riding, you name it. It's there where PBR is only bull riding. Like, see how hard my hat this is? This like, is like that good one you were talking about? Yeah. And this is all beaver? Yeah. Except the rattlesnake part. You're saying that's not a middle of the mall hat? No. <laughs> so we just rolled into Cheyenne last night. We went and checked out Frontier Days. I'm up here in jorts and a t-shirt, backwards hat. My boy shows up bringing the freaking heat. <laughs> like he knows what he's doing. Did you expect anything different? No. If you want it right, you gotta do it twice. That's just how it is. I think it's nice and twice. No, right and twice. They kind of rhyme. No, they don't. Bro, I'm like Eminem. I know how much footage I have of you singing and dancing to music? <laughs> and I never know the words. That's good. Hey, please don't drain my battery, thanks. <laughs> hey, uh, cowboy, your, uh, your battery's dead? Get it. Just bring it back by the shop. <laughs> I can build you another one just like it. Thank you very much. A bunch of things. Are you serious? We mount a uh, accessory in the bed. It's a. Uh, we call it a fire pole that you hold on to in the bed. I know a bunch of those of the PR guys. Yeah, Chase Outlaw for sure. A couple of the other Can Am bull riders. Man, the bullfighters. I've been a fan of the PBR for years. I've been going for, man, probably the last five or six years to every year to the events. We've been, me and Lindsey been to the World Championship. So I know a lot of the guys and uh, PBR and UFC owned by the same company. So they take good care of us when we go. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> They're putting black rosin on it, which is like a sticky, so they're heating the rosin they're, while they're stripping the rope and they strip the inside of there of where they hold on because it creates like the sticky tackiness so they can, so basically the rope doesn't strip out of their hands, so they're rosining up the rope. Yeah, when I was in high school, we chased the rodeo around. Uh, it was fun. Never at this level, you know. Um, PBR is equivalent to the UFC. I can be sure you see a lot of people fighting locally and on the small shows. That's what I did bull riding. I, I chased the little rodeos around, but never to this. So it was really cool being around it, doing it, and then seeing what the pros are like. I could imagine it'd be like a bunch of guys that fight locally and coming to the ranch and hanging out with us, you know, probably the same, same thing. So I see those guys go out there and ride, it's like, oh, what's up, man? It's pretty cool. It's based on a 100-point scoring system. Uh, 50 points are awarded, awarded to the um, rider and 50 points to the bull. So you have to have a good bull 
and you have to be a good rider to get a good 90 point ride, you know what I mean? Um, so the boss got to do his job and you got to do your job looking pretty and riding the dog shit out of it. So that's how, but yeah, those bulls are, they get famous, man, for sure. Everyone knows, you know, those are the rankest, craziest bulls. So the Cheyenne Frontiers PBR, they call it the last cowboy standing. And every round, they, if you ride, you move to the next round. You ride, you move to the next round. You ride, you make to the next round. So not only you gotta make the next round, but you gotta keep scoring high. So when it comes all the way down to the last guy standing, whoever advances to the final round either rides or ends up with the highest score. In this case, I believe it was just down to the two and only one road, right? Jose won, yeah, so it was pretty cool to watch. Um, and just, I think they got on five or six bulls that night, back to back to back to back to back, which is insane. Uh, well, Flint's out there putting on a show, and the other three guys are there to keep the bull riders safe. Their job is to put themselves in front of the bull, in case they get hung up, or get in kind of danger, they want to get the bull rider out of there as safe as possible, so. Uh, their job is to get hooked and not you. Steam for a bumper bumper blue.